Welcome to a word from the Word. The church today begins a new liturgical calendar marked by the season of Advent. The liturgy helps us to remember that life has a beginning. It begins with God. But one of the forms of life that God shows us is His initiative to come closer to us. But why does He come closer to us? Remember that the closer we are to the author of life and blessings is to receive more hope and joy. This is what the season of Advent is all about. The word Advent comes from the Latin word Adventus, which means coming closer. When he comes to us, may we be prepared for his coming. St. Augustine said, Timio, Yesum, transiun tem, which means, I fear that Jesus will pass by me unnoticed. So, the season of Advent is a season to celebrate Jesus' closeness to us. Let us focus on the word closeness to further our reflection on the readings of this first Sunday of Advent. There are three important gifts that show his closeness to us. The first gift is time. God gives us time to prepare as he comes nearer to us. He gives us a chance to wake from sleep. In the second reading, St. Paul reminded us, now is the time to wake from sleep because the hour of our salvation is near. He exhorted us to throw off works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Likewise in the Gospel, Jesus reminded us that he comes closer to us in an unexpected time. He said, Therefore, stay awake. For you do not know on which day your Lord will come. So let us thank the Lord for the gift of time. He will surely come on a specified time and he gives us time to redress ourselves and be prepared for his coming. The second gift is place. God has prepared a place where he will historically come closer to us, and it is Jerusalem. He will meet us in Jerusalem. In the first reading, the prophet Isaiah pictures out Jerusalem at the highest mountain of the earth. We are told that it will be the Lord's house and it will be raised above the hills. It will be the place where all nations shall stream toward it. Peoples will say, come, let us climb the mountain of the Lord. It will be on that mountain that the Lord will instruct us about his ways and walk in his paths. We know that it was in Jerusalem that he instituted the Holy Eucharist, he suffered and died on the cross, he was buried and rose again from death. The third gift is a person. Advent is a season to remember that God comes closer to us in person. Jesus was born in Bethlehem and that marked the fullness of God's revelation to us. To come closer to us in person is God's great gift, especially in the celebration of the Holy Eucharist. St. Paul exhorts us all, let us conduct ourselves properly as in the day, not in orgies and drunkenness, not in promiscuity and lust, not in rivalry and jealousy. But put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the desires of the flesh. This season of Advent is indeed a moment of grace and blessing for us because it is God who takes the initiative to be with us. So, what are we afraid of or anxious of? Let us celebrate Advent by being mindful of the gift of time where God comes closer to us. We go to the place where the Lord meets us. And let us be with the person who will lead us to eternal life. God bless you.